Okay, this is my homemade hamster cage. I made it from two plastic storage tubs and a wire hamster cage that was way too small and kept falling apart. The tubs are hefty 100 quart that I got from Lowe's and the cage I got second hand from a thrift shop. I'm going to give you a quick demo and show you my concept. I needed a larger cage for my Syrian hamster. She was in a critter trail, which was way too small for her. I wanted to utilize the stacking feature of the storage tubs and was able to come up with this double decker design which has given my hamster a lot more space and has made her so much happier. The great thing about this design is that you can stack several tubs since they're lightweight and won't fall apart. I used a funnel that I got from PetSmart to create the bridge to the upper level. I uh, ended up stapling a piece of felt to help her with a little steep dip there um, to help her from slipping and sliding down. Sometimes she would slide a little bit. The felt gives her something to sink her claws into. I attached two water bottles um, with a screw. It came with a little sticky pad and a hole to put the screw th through. These are great because they allow me to close the top, the lid, and they have a little lever in there that um, releases the bottle so it's pretty easy to get in and out. And the bottles are clear, which is great because then you can always check the uh, water level just by looking at it. The top of the lower tub is screwed onto the bottom of the top tub to prevent it from sliding around. To get to the lower tub, I have to push down the funnel and then lift the top tub up with the lid attached. I haven't had to do that yet because the door here is large enough for me to get to everything. The door is from the top of a wire hamster cage that I took apart. I used the entire piece and just screwed it in. The windows I had to cut down, as you can see here, cut them with wire cutters. And these windows here are actually from a hermit crab cage, so I just took it apart and just stuck those on there. I used a hot knife that I made by hammering down a soldering iron tip to cut out the windows and doors. A hot knife works best because it's faster and doesn't crack the plastic like a utility knife does. Hot knives are very dangerous and should only be done by an experienced adult. Even experienced adults need to be very cautious because it is way too easy to burn yourself. I have quite a few burns from this. Um, I cut the plastic tubs outside, outdoors on my deck, and I used a mask to prevent myself from breathing in the nasty fumes. I made templates from paper cardstock to draw the windows. I cut down the wire windows first and then I made templates approximately an inch smaller on all sides so that the screws and washers could grip the wire. I used two different size washers because I couldn't find washers large enough to fit the screws I wanted to use so I had to improvise and layer them. The screws have flat bottoms as opposed to pointy ones for obvious safety reasons. I used a different soldering iron to make the holes for the screws. The funnel feeds through the hole that I cut through the lid and the bottom of the tub. I cut the lid first and then I put the clear tub on top and traced the hole onto the tub to line the holes up. Once the holes were cut, I lined them up and screwed the lid onto the bottom of the tub. You can see the screws under there, I think. The funnel is not attached to anything so that it could be moved out of the way when I need to access the inside of the tub. Okay, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's nice and spacious. Um, I like that it was nice and long so she can she can uh, run back and forth. And this is the water bottle I was talking about. It's kind of hard to see, but you got this lever here. You push that down and it releases the uh, water bottle pretty easily. Um, here are the windows that I did for the upper level. It, uh, the cage that I used had these built-in um, tunnel connectors, so if I wanted to connect tunnels, but that was the problem we had. They were way too small for my hamster, so I won't be doing that, but if I ever really wanted to, I could. 
Um, this is the wheel I taped this down at the bottom here so that doesn't tip over. Um, here's the front door. Nice little ramp for her to go up and down. And so it looks like I'm inside. And she's sleeping in a little barn right now. I don't know how she can sleep through it, but she does. Anyway, that's what it looks like on the inside. This project took about two days only because it kept raining on me and I didn't have the screws I needed so I had to run back to the hardware store and find the screws I needed. The tubs are hefty 100 quart space savers and cost about $18 each at Lowe's. The wire cage from a thrift store was about $5. Um, you could use a bird cage as well. The funnel was $9.99 from PetSmart and the water bottles were $5.99 each also from PetSmart. So that's it, my homemade hamster cage. Um, I'll go ahead and follow this up with some pictures that I took as I made it. I hope that this has inspired you to make a happy home for your hamster and thank you for watching.